All right, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can scrape local businesses using Google Maps so you can run outreach campaigns to them, cold email campaigns, cold calling campaigns, or use it for whatever you really want. I'm going to be showing you three different ways you can actually do this. And I'm also gonna show you how you can grab their emails, their phone numbers, any additional data, uh, so you can actually run outreach campaigns towards these people. A little bit of context on me. My name's Matt. I've sent millions of cold emails at this point. And so I'm just gonna show you a bunch of different ways you can actually scrape this data so you can apply it to your own outreach campaign. All right, so diving in and showing you how you can scrape uh, local businesses using Google Maps. I'm going to show you three different ways to do this. The first way, the most simple way is through Clay's native Google Maps scraper. So this is going to be the quickest, the easiest. You're going to have to take the least amount of uh, button presses to get this in a usable way. Um, and the way you're going to do this is first, you're going to sign up to Clay. You can check the link in the description. There's a link to sign up to clay.com and you get a bunch of free credits if you sign up with that link. Um, if you sign up to Clay, Clay not only lets you scrape Google Maps uh, and local businesses, it also lets you scrape all kinds of different stuff natively through their platform. If you click into this table section here, you can see there's like a million different things you can scrape from. You can upload your own list. You can scrape people through LinkedIn. But in this case, we want to scrape local businesses using Google Maps. So if I want to do that, all I have to do is press find local businesses using uh, Google Maps here. And then it'll pop up with the Google Maps uh, search here. And so you can uh, select the radius that you want to use. So if I want to scrape Manhattan area, then I can do that here. If I want to scrape uh, middle of Pennsylvania, I can do that here. If I want to scrape Pittsburgh, I can just zoom in, select the radius, and let's say we want to scrape a certain business type. So we can go over here. These are a bunch of predefined uh, filters that Google Maps has or the way that Google My Business categorizes things. So if I want to do gyms, for example, here, you can see gym is uh, a predefined one. But you have to keep in mind that these aren't going to be 100% perfectly accurate. In Google My Business or in the Google Maps, however people uh, categorize themselves, it's not always one-to-one. -one. So like, let's say, for example, I run a marketing agency. I might put my company as a consulting service services company or a marketing firm or a million different other things. So take this with a grain of salt, but you can use this uh, business type filter and then you, you can select the number of results. So I can say up to a thousand. I think, yeah, it says it here that it limits your number of results up to a thousand people. So again, I'm going to show you some ways you can scrape this more at scale, or if you want to do giant, giant pulls, you can do that as well. So uh, this is one way you can scrape via clay. So I'm just going to, for uh, the example of this video, just grab 50 people. Uh, we're going to do inside of Pittsburgh. And then I'm going to do, I don't know, like a random one here. Let's just say gas station. I'm going to press that and press continue. Also, you can see here, if you want to scrape multiple different types. So in our, I can also scrape, I think there's like a personal fitness or there's something like this fitness center, for example. So you can plug multiple of these in. Again, keep in mind, these aren't going to be hundred percent perfect or accurate. And I can show you how you can filter it down after, but this is a, a good starting point. So let's say we just want to scrape fitness centers and gyms in Pittsburgh. We're going to press continue and add it to a new table and then it's just going to start going. So it's going to go query the Google Maps uh, API or whatever they have. And then it's going to start uh, filling in with a bunch of different businesses. So you can see it keeps flowing uh, in here. The really cool part about Clay is you can see there's 47 uh, businesses it found. If I want to go ahead and add more people to this list, it's super easy. All I have to do is just press this plus button here and then I can run another search and then add it in to uh, this Google Maps uh, list that we have here. So it's, it's pretty simple to add more leads, but you can see it's a simple is that we have uh, the names, we have the Google Maps URL, we have the description, their website, their phone number. Keep in mind, again, this is their uh, business phone number. These aren't personal mobile phone numbers, address, rating, uh, reviews count, and all that different type of stuff here. I'm going to uh, hide this mobile phone number section here in case my editors have to edit this out to make their lives a little bit easier. But this is basically everything. Now you have a list. Now, if we want to go ahead and grab their emails, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. One of the ways you can do it, again, inside of Clay is you can use their AI web scraper called Clayagent. So if I go over here into this add column section and press use AI, I can go over here uh, to this Clayagent section, which again is like an AI web scraper and uh, you can select the model. Uh, whenever I'm doing this, I want to use the cheapest model possible because you can get this done pretty cheaply by doing that. And I can just say, uh, I want you to visit this company's website and find an email, uh, a valid company email 
that I can reach out to. And then I'm gonna insert the website. Here's the company website. And then uh, I can let this go. So I'm just gonna let this run for, for 10 rows and see what happens. But this is one way you can do it. And you can see this isn't perfect either because some of these people don't have websites. And so that's obviously a limitation. Um, but you can see here, it's gonna go through here and it found a uh, email that we can reach out to. If I wanna make this a little bit cleaner, I'll tell it to only output the company email. So then it makes it really easy only output the company or only output the email and nothing else. And then I'm going to save and run uh, these 10 rows again. So again, this is what you can do to grab emails at scale. All I have to do if I want to do this for all 50 people or all the people that have um, business websites that we can actually reach out to is just run this at scale and you can see the results start pouring in. I can add this as another column and then there we go. So now we have this giant table that I can run and I can grab all these people's emails. Now, if you're gonna to wanna to run this in a cold outbound campaign at scale, you're going to wanna make sure you validate your emails. If you don't do it, it's gonna make your emails go into spam uh, and it's gonna cause a lot of problems. This is uh, one way you can do it. Another way you can do it inside of Clay again here is there's a find emails by uh, company domain from Prospio. So if you go over here and type in Prospio, you can see this um, one find email addresses associated by domain. And if you run this, I can feed it the company website and press save and run again for the people again who have uh, websites here uh, it's going to error out on the ones that don't it might be able to find emails uh, for these people as well so this is just another way you can see here it found 10 different emails uh, for people that are at this uh, company and then we can ad again go in here grab these emails and run these through our outreach campaign so I can either push this to smart lead or do whatever I want with it the tricky part with local data compared to using an Apollo or a zoom in uh, if you're going to want to run cold outreach campaigns, you're not going to be able to filter for the decision makers as easily. So you can run a more complex flow and then ask AI and say, hey, go find the decision maker, go and try and find the decision makers email. And then if you can't find it, then default to one of these generic info at emails. That's one way of doing it. If you want to do it the lazy way, again, you can just go in here and uh, just do it this way. So that's one way you can do it. That's how you grab local business data. I'm going to show you the second way, which is uh, via a tool called Outscraper. So if you want to check it out. It's called outscraper.com. This is a little bit, um, I would say it can be simpler or more advanced depending on how you want to do it. I like clay because then I can go and manipulate the data and export it and do it again in one easily viewable place. I can filter it very easily and again, play around with it in a very quick way. Another way you can do it is through Outscraper. And so Outscraper has a bunch of different scraping services. If you uh, click in here, you can see they have like a million different scrapers here. Again, I'm gonna move uh, my face, not the screen. So you can see uh, all the different scrapers there are here. Again, I don't know what uh, you can do over here scraping Walmart, but apparently some people use that. So that's one thing you can do. But uh, the one that we care about here is the Google one. So if I go over here into Google Maps Scraper, again, we can run something similar. So I can go over here, type in categories. So if I want, um, let's just say same idea, I want gyms, I can press gym and you can see all the different categories. So I could do gym, gymnastics, boxing, Muay Thai, anything like that. I can also throw in, what was the other one I had? Fitness center. And so you can see again, similar stuff, the Google Maps, um, typical searches that you can use. Then uh, what's cool here and why this might be a little bit better than Clay, depending on the use case, Clay's native uh, Google Maps scraper. I'm gonna get to the third option here in a second. But uh, the reason why this also might be more useful is you can scrape stuff in, in mass. So Outscraper kind of takes the dirty work uh, out of the scraping process. So the reason why Clay, I believe, limits it to a thousand uh, searches or whatever, whenever you press this like plus button here, it says it's limited to a thousand is not because I think Clay is trying to make your life hard, but I think Google has some um, API limitations on how many people you can scrape at once, which I think caps out at a thousand. <coughs> and so what I think Outscraper does here on the back end is kind of just does it all for you. So they can go through and run all the million different queries so that they can get all the different uh, search criteria that you're doing at scale again, all for you. And so if you want to do that, all you can do is, you know, go over here, you can plug in bigger radiuses, bigger locations. So I can say, Hey, I want to scrape all 50 states all at once. And again, you can run this and let it go. You can set how many results you want. I think without scraper, if you do less than 500 searches, they don't bill for it. So if you want to just test by doing like 100, 200, 300, you can do that here. And then if you like, 
like the results, you can scrape a huge search. Um, the only thing here with Outscrapers is a little bit more expensive than uh, if you use Clay. If you do use this uh, preferred API here, it costs a Clay credit, which is about three cents. If you disable this, it actually costs uh, nothing. I think it's just included in your Clay plans. Very, very useful uh, if you wanna run a bunch of these. But if you're doing it through Outscraper, I don't know the exact figure, but I think it might be somewhere in that three cents per run range, uh, which can add up very quickly if you're doing this at scale, which again, I'll show you how to do a cheaper way. But this is another way you can do it. So you can run uh, some searches here. My face is blocking it, but you can also have it enrich the emails for you. So the step I just did inside of Clay, you can have it do that for you, which can be useful. Your mileage may vary here with uh, how good the data quality is. Uh, you're not gonna be able to grab the decision makers in the same way that you will with Clay. But again, I like using uh, Outscraper if you just want a fast way of doing it. You don't wanna have to click through all the buttons in Clay and the cost is not as much of an issue. But again, your mileage may vary with uh, cost and the, the quality of results, but you can see there's all kinds of different criteria you can filter for here. And so that's the second way. So first way, you can use Clay's native Google Maps scraper. The second way is you can use Outscraper. This is another tool I like a lot for local scraping. And then yeah, my face is blocking it. I'll move my face again. But if you wanna run this search, all you have to do is press get data, and then you can export this as a CSV. Very, very useful there. Um, and the third way that you can do it is via Serper. So Serper is a API that you can call that basically does, again, what this Clay tool does here and probably what Outscraper is doing on the back end. But this is like the most technical way of doing it. So if you go over here to serper.dev, you can uh, load up on some API credits here, and then you can run all these different types of searches. This is basically the back end API. And so you can set the type of search you want to do. So you can use Google search. This is like typing something directly into Google. You can do a uh, Google places. This is like the Google, my business, the Google maps, all that type of stuff. And so these are probably the two you're going to be using if you're trying to scrape local businesses. More realistically, you're probably want to do the um, places search. And then, yeah, there's also maps and all kinds of different stuff here. What this looks like is you can uh, query it. So you can feed it like an input, like in this case, Jim Tampa. And then I can uh, run, I'll show you two different tables. So one of the table is the search one. So this is just, hey, output all the different results from running a uh, Google search on this keyword term. And so you can see these are all the different websites that pop up. As you can see though, not all of these are actually gyms. So you can see this looks like a gym. This is like a, a Yelp page searching for gyms in Tampa. This is a Reddit thread asking about gyms in Tampa. This is a gym in Tampa, gym in Tampa. This is like a PR, you know, news website, whatever showing that. There's some limitations if you're using the direct Google scraper. The other way you can do it is using the places API. This is better. This is more formatted again, like this uh, clay workflow. The reason why this is useful instead of doing it through clay is that again, you can run this at scale. So Serper is a lot cheaper than using the uh, one cent clay credit here. I think you can run this for like a 10th of a penny, which is uh, cheaper again than clay credits. That's another way you can do it. The way that you set this up, you go to Serper, you grab an API key, you make an account, uh, you can play around with the code here and uh, get it set up inside of your table. And then you can pick which type of API you want to use. If you want to use a search one, use a search one. If you want to use a places one, use a places one. And then you can use this code tab here to set up the API call. And then after you run and take the data, you can see it'll uh, output it in this nice clean way inside of Clay. And then if you want to write this to another table so that you can manipulate it, again, you can do this uh, natively inside of Clay. The reason why I like to use Clay is it just, again, makes this data formatting stuff super simple. The last thing I'm going to show you here is shout out uh, Eric Noslowski. He made a video on this. Uh, you can check it out if you just Google Eric Noslowski clay he made this a uh, clay template setup where he just copied like every single county in the United States and then you can paste in a keyword search term so it stitches it together like in this case you see I put Jim Tampa so that I you know have to actually type in all the different locations all the different keyword searches he made it so that all you have to do is type in uh, the keyword you want to use once and then it'll paste in all the different searches and then it'll paste in all the different serper API calls if you want to use that so I'll link his video on somewhere in the description or somewhere if you want to check his stuff out because this is a really uh, neat table and shout out Eric for making this this is another way you can Google Maps at scale. Whenever you're using this Serper call thing, you can have it set. Like in this case, I have it set to grab the first 99 results. But if you want to grab more pages through this, like actual uh, Google Maps scraper instead of the Google search scraper, you're going to need to run the different pages in a slightly different way. Point is, is that he basically did a lot of heavy lifting here. And I'll, I'll link that video after if you want to check this out. Again, this looks a lot more complicated and it is a lot more complicated than using Outscraper or uh, the first clay search I showed you here. The main reason why you'd want to do 
this is if you're exclusively looking to save on cost because Serper is a lot cheaper compared to the other platforms. So like, again, this is like three cents ish per run and then uh, Outscraper. I don't know the exact figure it is, but it's it's more expensive than that. So those are three different ways that you can scrape Google Maps. Hopefully this video was helpful. Uh, if you want to check out other videos on this channel, I have a bunch of videos on cold email and whatnot. Uh, if you need help with outbound and need help with your cold outreach, feel free to check out one of the links in the description below to see if you want to work with me. Appreciate you a ton and check out the other videos on this channel.